Hello, this is update for March 27. Um, I just saw two video uh, about uh, the Chechen force uh, uh, take over the Azul steel, uh, the steel factory. So I'm draw right now that there is some fighting still going on around here. So I'm draw part of the modern, most part of the steel factory have been occupied by the Russian now. Uh, but I still didn't, uh, uh, I only shrink in the Ukraine force territory uh, and leave the space still here until official confirmation. But I, let, me, let me going to show you the video. <coughs> this one is uh, sued by the Chechen force. Their commander take over the uh, government building inside the center downtown in Mariupol. See, look at the map here. This part is the docking area for the steel, uh, Aru Aru steel the Mariupol steel factory. Uh, this is steel factory. This is north. Uh, the upper is actually east. So they look uh, the map differently. Um, the, the commander is point to the center of the downtown. Uh, and the, the right side, the blue one, is the river, uh, the, the Azul Sea. So to the, to, uh, to the left is white, and it is north. Uh, so this is the map part. This is, let me show you the place where they celebrate the Occupy the Government uh, uh, building in the downtown. Uh, like uh, they, they are celebrating the uh, thing. The title here is Russian troop take over Mariupol, Ukraine. Uh, this is one of them. Another one is showing Chechen Special Force fight inside the uh, Aru Steel. Uh, the, the title here is that Kadyrov uh, Chechen Army. The Chechen Special Force liberate Aru Steel liberated in Mariupol. Uh, there is no official confirmation yet. This is just the two video come from the Chechen force. Uh, they express that. Let's also like uh, validate the information. See, they, all the fighting at this time is about 9 a.m. in Ukraine time in March 27. So we can see that uh, within the last uh, 12 hours, there is no fair breakout, right? It's quite, a, all the, like, uh, the deep yellow orange one was happened uh, between 12 hours to 24 hours. And the, the yellow one was happening on 24 hours ago, more than 24 hours ago. So within the last 12 hours, there's no big fighting, no big affair going on. So that also prove there is not much fighting going on right now uh, in the last uh, half day. Uh, so, and also, see this part originally was occupied by the Chechen force. So if the fighting here shows maybe some troop was withdraw from this area and they started fighting with um, both sides. Uh, all some of the scene was being surrounded. Actually, this two orange dot is uh, it's one story in like a small building uh, right uh, next to the beach. So I think some, some Ukraine troop went to those not very uh, safe place, mean they have no place to go, right? They must uh, get into trouble. So that means uh, imply their originally better defense territory 
there are many building inside the steel factory. If they um, have the good building, they don't want to go to that uh, very sad house, right? It's a beach, uh, wooden area, uh, very easily being attacked. So they mean they've been forced to get into here uh, and they are fighting around here. So, but uh, we still see like more than 12 hours ago, there was still some fighting, but within the 12 hours, there was not much fighting going on. So that means the two videos sit sued by the Chechen, uh, like a special force, uh, might be very likely be true, but still we are not, uh, uh, on our map, we are not trying to uh, fail with the uh, like Russian uh, map here. We only shrink the Ukraine territory to a smaller area and this one too, we didn't touch it. So we assume there are some uh, Ukraine forces still left uh, and uh, still fighting in some building, high rise building especially. Uh, let me go to the second update about uh, to the north. Uh, to the north, there are important uh, development uh, in the uh, the strategic uh, important uh, Izum area. Izum is uh, this place. Uh, this is Izum. Uh, this is uh, the major hub for the like a one, two, three, four, five, five highway. So this is a major hub. The Ukraine force and the Russian force has fight has been fighting in this area for more than a, like a week. You can see both sides put a big military force to uh, try to control this area, and the Ukraine force has been withdrawn to the this area. Yesterday, uh, like a uh, uh, Russian force occupy uh, Russian force occupy. What? Sorry for the map. Uh, basically, yesterday, Russian force uh, occupy Kaminka as well as uh, Shovi Kavinka, the two city. Uh, says Kavinka, and they also capture. Uh, there is some fighting going on in here as well. So there is two small villages south of Irum also being captured by the Russian soldier. Uh, so this and this one. So this is the second update. Uh, but this is a very important because this, that basically means the big uh, military force uh, uh, in Sovodonetsk and uh, Kromotovsk don't have a place to withdraw unless they go to the source, right? And they go to the source. And they, once the Mariupol finished, the, the, the Mariupol have 50,000 uh, uh, troops. They were drawn the force here and pushed northward. So this part of the soldier are very difficult to get out. They probably will be get circled. So uh, in the next two days, we will see this side, the Irum side, and also the uh, the Haupu city, and also this frontier will quickly move north and uh, start a circle in this area in the next uh, few days. All right, that's uh, the quick update. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and please um, uh, like uh, hit the like button. Thanks. Bye.